What's up guys, it's Shots back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techy channel. And today we're exploring a super powerful tool that's essential for anyone interested in cybersecurity and intelligence work. And it's called Maltigo. And it's not just cool, it's a game changer. So grab you a cup of coffee and let's get to it. So what is Maltigo all about? It's a visual link analysis tool that help you uncover, visualize, and understand the connections within data sets. So whether you're tracking down security breaches or just love digging through data, Maltigo makes it easy with its intuitive design. Now it's widely used in cybersecurity tasks like gathering information about potential threats or vulnerabilities. And Maltigo excels with its ability to integrate transforms and these are plugins or extensions from various intelligence internet and cybersecurity companies now some of these are free others are paid but all are incredibly useful there are big names in it like CrowdStrike, Alien Vault, and even Google's Mandiant, a port of the ecosystem, offering their unique plugins to enhance your OSINT investigations. So now that we know what Maltigo is, let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through the process of getting it set up on your Kali Linux box so you can start using it for your OSINT investigations. Let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ. Co. All right, so I'm logged into my Kali Linux box. This is a virtual machine, but let's go down and show you guys how to get Maltigo set up. So all you have to do is search for it right fast under our tools, but you'll see Maltigo installer. If this is your first time opening it up, it'll open up the terminal and basically we'll install Maltigo package as well as all its dependencies. So let's go down and type Y, press enter. It's gonna ask you for your pseudo password, press enter. And it typically doesn't install it when you first install the operating system so you may have to install it once you got the system set up you can find that installer link if you search under your menus and then once it's installed you don't have to worry about it anymore it'll stay installed on the system as you can see it didn't take too long by me just talking for a couple seconds it installed it as well as all its dependencies it says press enter to finish so let's go down and do that and now let's go down and open up Maltigo now so if we type it in you'll see that the link has changed it basically says Maltigo this is the actual application now it's installed on the system and it may take a couple seconds to open up because it has to you know load all the modules and everything that's associated with the application and let's go to make it full screen so you guys can check it out and the first thing that'll pop up is the different versions of Maltigo you'll see Maltigo 1 it needs an activation key they want you to pay for it and this is for enterprise users or people that work in the profession most likely organizations will provide you with a key they may have purchased you know a group of keys for Maltigo while working in the field now you got your Maltigo XL this comes with a little bit more and it all depends on which one you purchase depends on the amount of tools that come along with Maltigo there are two different free versions and I wanted to show you guys that right fast so the CE which is the community edition this is the one I want to run, but I want to at least show you guys the Maltigo case file. So this is another way of running Maltigo. We're going to use that community edition. You don't have to purchase a key to use it. You just don't have access to a lot of tools. Now, this is the process of actually configuring Maltigo. And so right here is the license agreement. You scroll through this, hit the accept button, hit next. This will go through and allow you to log into your account if you already have an account. If you don't have an account, you wanna hit the register here button. This will allow you to create a Maltigo account. 
and I recommend you go on and do that. Well, that's the only way you'll be able to use the application is if you have an account. So go through the process of setting up that account and then log in. Now I already have an account, so I'm gonna just type in my information and skip ahead. All right, and so once you logged in, it'll just basically check your login results. Just verifying that you do have an active account with Maltigo. So I kind of skipped that step. So this was the login, then the login results. And now the next thing is install transforms and it will complete, it'll download everything for your system, you know, icons, all that stuff for the transforms you can install on the system. So let's go down and hit next there. It'll say help improve Maltigo. You can uh, agree to that or not by clicking this checkbox and then your web browser options. So you use the default system browser, which is Firefox. It should be Firefox on Kali Linux. Yeah, as you can see right there, but you can specify it or you can use the default. So if you ever do change your default to something else, it automatically switch to that one. I'm gonna just leave it at Firefox. That's fine. Hit next and then privacy mode. There's different modes in here. There's the stealth mode and the normal mode. I'm gonna just use a normal. It says use this mode for a richest Maltigo experience. You basically gather more information by giving out a little bit more information, meaning that this will allow Maltigo to gather this information directly from the site. And so obviously when you make requests against websites, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna gather some information about your system that you're coming from. Uh, stealth mode, it should kind of block some of that. It's important that no internet traffic originates from your computer IP. So that's the stealth mode. You could do it either way, but it's still tied to your account. So just be aware of that. Now let's go down and hit next there now it says ready set go you can open a blank graph and play around with it you can open example graph you can go away i have done this before so if you're familiar with maltigo you can select this and it'll just have it set up the default way and then you can set it up from there because you already know how to use it but i'm just open a blank graph so we can play around with it let's hit finish boom now here is a privacy policy notice so just going to hit acknowledge there but this is essentially a new graph based on the transforms we have currently now we go back to the home page this is kind of what i wanted to show you on the store page there's a lot of information right here on the left hand side and actually let's just kind of break it out for you this is the release version 4.7.0 for a maltigo desktop client and here's just some information about Maltigo in general. You can learn more, you can check out live trainings, you know, webinars, all that stuff. It'll be right here on this start page. And then over here is the Maltigo Transform Hub. Now this is your bread and butter when it comes to Maltigo. This allows you to access a bunch of APIs on the internet. Now, a lot of these APIs are paid. You have to pay for them, but there are a few free ones out there and I'll show you guys that once we get to it. And let's start up here at the top, but you have access options and this is how you can filter out those free APIs, data categories. So if you wanna look for specific categories of data, so let's say you wanna look for phishing, recon, social media, breaches, leaks, this will just filter out the transforms at the bottom. And these are all the partners down here at the bottom, transform partners that have information out there that you can essentially query because essentially all you're doing is accessing a bunch of databases on the web just to kind of make it in the simple terms but let's go to free right fast not data subscription but free apis just want to show you a few of them it's only really a couple that you can look at for free now let me uncheck that right fast one of the ones i want to show you guys was have i been pwned so let's type have i been pwned or have and it'll bring it up right here we can install it i just want to show you guys how to install a transform so let's install that and hit yes boom it'll download terms and conditions you know all that good stuff and like i said this all this stuff is tied to your account so just so you know and let's go back over to our graph that we created so over here this is your entity palette so you want to search for basically whatever you want to look for and let's type email in here so email address and let's drag this entity into here. And what you wanna do is modify what this is. So if you click on it and you can type in whatever email address you wanna look for. So, and then also you can go over here, 
you can modify it as well i just double clicked on it but you could modify the email address you want to look for it and let's just go into i don't know i'm gonna use my keep it techie email address so keep it techie at gmail.com and let's go down and press okay it'll update that and then we can go in and right click on it and you'll see the transforms pop up here so all transforms uh standard transform the community edition or you can click the one we downloaded and install which is ha have i been pwned and all you have to do is click the little arrow and this will run all under have i been pwned and you'll see it popping up so it'll pop up and it'll run through and check if this email address has been listed in that database for have i been pwned and you can click in here and see a little bit of the information about it so have i been pwned let's click in there right fast and it looks like we got an error there so it says it exceeded rate limit and that kind of sucks that it didn't fully check because it exceeded the rate limit of the API. So, and then plus we're using a community edition. It's kind of hard to, you know, see, but you get the idea of what it'll do. You could search, you know, whatever transform you have and see if it has any information on it. Now, let's say we didn't find what we wanted, but let's uh, right click on here. We can run all transforms if you want to. And actually let's go down and go through it right fast. I'm gonna just leave all this defaults and then run it. And let's see what we get for that email address period and you'll start seeing a whole lot more information popping up in here and this email address is fairly new it hasn't been around too too long but you'll start to pull a little bit more information so let's see gmail so it's letting you know it's a gmail account relationship let's see what we got here this will just kind of let you know that that email address is valid let's click in here and see what we got here it's not listed in have i been pwned this is that error exceeded the number of you know issues let's see what this is in the case the email is from a common email provider gmail yahoo okay so this information could be interesting let's click on here and see what this says and not much information there as well so now this kind of shows you how to look at let's say just an email address we can go in here and actually delete this email address so and we could delete all this i mean i should have deleted all of it you can hold shift and delete pretty much everything from the graph that way we can kind of start over so let's say we want to look for a person and all we have is their name so let's type a person in here and we could grab this entity drag it in there just like we did with the email address and let's zoom in a little bit so you guys kind of see what it looks like but if you click on it you can go down here and modify the property so let's say you want to look up and i'm gonna use somebody like super famous and that's elon musk so we could type that name in there because we shouldn't have any issues looking up any like celebrities or anything like that we shouldn't run into any problems and you want to make sure you run this against things that you have permission to but when you run it against celebrities there a lot of their information is already out there so you don't have to really worry about it like you could do mark zuckerberg you know any of these mike tyson anybody that's like a celebrity there's a lot of information out there so it really doesn't matter all we got to do is right click and let's just run all transforms it's gonna bring up a box you could put in a little bit more information and kind of help narrow down the search but i know it's gonna bring up a lot of information so don't worry about it we'll just hit run and we'll run and find everything dealing with elon musk and actually let's zoom out a little bit and i know it's kind of hard to see let's actually zoom in a little more so you guys can see but you'll start seeing it, it pulls in email addresses and pretty much everything man so elon m at email.com let's see a e lusk at email dot or you elon must at hotmail so he has a hotmail account e at x.com so that's obviously twitter elon at tesla and this is just probably information that it just gathered offline so elon at nasa.com and we click on it and we can see a little bit more information about it so that's the actual details you know you can check it out right there and see all the information that's gathered about that email address there's a public pgp key right there that's cool to actually see what's generating too like i said you can gather a lot of information from this you know what i'm saying and then one cool thing once you find like i don't know an email address that's interesting that you want to look a little detailed or more detailed into let's drag it off to the right a little bit see if we can drag it drag it off to the right let's say this is interesting and let me move 
it over here and let's run a transform against that email address press run i'm just kind of showing trying to show you you know how to do more detailed searches and I actually moved it over to the right so let's let's bring this thing over here and boom so we looked into that elon.must at hotmail.com there's a have i been pwned down here let's see what we got so elon at gmail dot elon dot must at mail let's see get all pace and i know i'm kind of just showing you guys the surface level but yeah you can just basically get gather a lot of information from and of course i'm looking at a celebrity there's no information on this target within have i been pwned and also there's an exceeded you know rate limit on that like i said we're using that community edition i'm sure you get more api hits if you have a license and all that stuff and you're not using the community edition so i'm sure you guys get the idea but look at that leak let's see what we got indicates that this email address is associated with a recent database leak from a third party leaked accounts pose a risk as they may have become compromised during a database breach so that gives you information about this email address specifically let's see under common what does it say indicate this email is from common email provider yeah obviously we've seen that on the other one let's see elon musk right here so that just goes back to the name of elon musk so if we would have searched this email address first it would have brought up elon musk which is what we looked at up here at the top when we first started see elon and so basically we just brought it right back to him so we know for sure that this is elon Elon's email address that's if someone isn't using you know that name on hot which you never know because it is being used by a service provider like Yahoo or Hotmail all right so that wraps up my video on Maltigo as you can see it's a robust tool that's vital for anyone looking to step into the world of cybersecurity or open source intelligence and if you notice it's about connecting the dots in a sea of data that's out there and maltigo makes this not only possible but also intuitive and if you enjoyed this quick dive and want to see more content like this don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and ring the bell for notifications from the keep it techy channel so whether you're a seasoned pro one of those cybersecurity professionals out here protecting the world or let's say you're just starting out one of the reasons I'm here is to help you navigate the exciting world of technology. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course, keep it techie.